just to show you what's in my car. There's bags and bags of fast food. There's Popeyes, there's McDonald's, this is Carl's, this is a Wendy's, I think. This is Wendy's. Okay, and then we've got Arby's. I've never done anything like this. I think I've entertained the thought of like, hey, why don't I try all the fish sandwiches? Hi everyone, it's Catherine. I love a fast food fish sandwich. McDonald's filet fish is my favorite thing ever. Derek isn't really a fan of fish sandwiches, however, so I thought I would try them. The first sandwich I'm going to get is from Arby's. I can't wait, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's, oh my God. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's is possibly one of my favorite Simpsons lines from the episode Das Bus, when Otto and the kids on the bus get lost. I say to Derek, I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's probably at least once a week, no matter what we're doing. I, it makes me laugh every time. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so hungry I could eat at Arby's. I'm so excited right now. Whenever you're ready. I'm ready now. I'd, I'd like to get both of your fish sandwiches, please. The King's Hawaiian Fish Deluxe and the Crispy Fish Sandwich. For the two sandwiches, is 961. 961. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hand sanitizer. Okay, this is the King's Hawaiian bread. Again, I can't tell by appearance. I only can tell by taste. So we'll see how that looks. I'm going to unpeel it. That is a lot of mayonnaise. It's not even tartar sauce. There's a hefty dose, a dose of mayonnaise on top. I see a slice of American cheese. That looks like it's been there for a while. And we have a regular crispy fish filet. Underneath the filet are some slices of tomato, shredded lettuce, which is why I'm being careful because I feel like it's gonna fall apart. I think there's some tartar sauce underneath that, but it's really hard to tell. Here we go. I think I just have a double dose of mayonnaise on the sandwich, bottom and top. It's a lot of mayonnaise, as you can see, it's spilling out right here, it's oozing out right there. Hmm. Okay, my initial impression is that I'm getting a, a mouthful of mayonnaise. The filet itself, the fish filet, is pretty, like, it seems pretty, like, standard. It's um, about, like, a half inch thick. Um, the breading, it doesn't any, nothing really notable about the breading. At least I can tell that the fish is flaky. Like, just, t just tasting the filet alone. You can tell it's, like, a flaky, maybe it's a pollock, I'm not sure exactly what it says. I'm really overwhelmed by the mayonnaise. On the sandwich. There's so much on it. It's kind of overwhelming the entire um, meal, as it were. So, uh, see, it's like dripping down my arm, my hand, and everything. So, I'm gonna hold this up this way so you can see. Oh, yeah. Is this King's Hawaiian bread? Let me try it separately. Right now, I can't tell because I'm just getting a mouthful of mayonnaise. Okay. That's definitely the King's Hawaiian bread sandwich. So good. I'd like this so much more if it didn't have so much mayonnaise on it. Yep, my hands are covered in mayonnaise right now. That's not the move. Crispy fish sandwich here. This is the exact same filet that's in the King's Hawaiian bread sandwich. I can tell because it's kind of shaped like a state. See here. See? Again, look at all the mayonnaise that just came out. It's spilling out from the underneath. What we have here is looks like a their standard like Arby's bun with sesame seeds on it. If I take off the top, again, just a little dollop of mayonnaise. You see the filet sandwich here. No, okay. The difference here, there's no cheese, no slice of cheese. It's just lettuce and again, more mayonnaise. Mmm, okay. I will say, I really like this fish filet patty. It tastes like fish. It's flaky. As for whether I miss the tomatoes, cheese, and the bread, I don't really. 
they don't they didn't really offer much in the other sandwich i guess i was so overwhelmed with mayonnaise and i'm kind of overwhelmed with the mayonnaise here you can see it's just like it's there's a lot of it initial thoughts a lot of mayonnaise no tartar sauce kind of overwhelms the entire sandwich go from there back in the bus time okay i'm back in my car walked into jack in the box to get their deluxe fish sandwich it is described on the receipt as being a deluxe fish sandwich it was six dollars plus tax so 657 for the one sandwich i'm gonna hold take it out of the box here the first thing i notice is that there are two not one but two fish patties I haven't seen any place that does this until now. Again, two fish patties, just on first sight, I see shredded lettuce, um, two slices of American cheese, and some tomatoes. All right, we've got another healthy dose of mayonnaise, um, shredded lettuce, two slices of tomato, um, slice of American cheese, cheese patty, more cheese, and then another patty, and then square shape like the McDonald's, um, Paleo fish sandwiches. I've noticed that too. Anything underneath? Nothing underneath here. Nothing under the hood or the trunk, I guess. But first, a thumbnail. I was wondering how long it would go before I get something on my shirt. And I got some on my shirt. Maybe a black shirt wasn't the best shirt to wear for this, but that's okay. Hmm, it's really hot. As in, they just fried these patties. Freshly fried them. So that's a plus. Let me have one more bite. Hmm. The few bites I've had were not filled with mayonnaise, unlike at Arby's, but I know there's a good healthy amount here right now and I'm not sure if it's because of the type of fish even though I'm not sure what type of fish they're using but I'm getting a slightly metallic taste from the sandwich the bread you know it's just a standard soft bun seems like what they would use on any of their burgers the tomatoes cheese and lettuce aren't really doing anything for me I'm kind of struck by this slightly metallic aftertaste and I it might be the fish I'm gonna get one more bite Yeah, it's, I appreciate the heat of the patty, it's freshly fried, but some metallities I can't pinpoint. That leaves me wondering. Okay, on to the next place. I am now in the drive through line at Carl's Jr. to get the beer battered fish sandwich. You can see the sign at the head. I'm eating everything in the car right when I get it. I figured that this was the most fair assessment I could make of these sandwiches because I'm getting them right away. I'm getting them hot. There's no delay in ordering. Okay, speaking of ordering, here we go. Okay, what can I get for you today? Could I please get one beer battered fish sandwich? Comment down below and let me know if you like fish sandwiches, you know, and if you do, which ones are your favorites? So 470, please. Hi. How helpful. So we have okay. as opposed to like a beer battered fish sandwich. Okay. That's looks like I see the usual suspects here. Just upon first glance, I see some mayonnaise, shredded lettuce, filet, which feels quite hot, which is good. That means I just fried it. Fairly soft bun. Just like the bun they'd use for any of their burgers. Let's unwrap this and see what we have inside. The patty, the, the fish fillet is quite hot, which is good. Mm. I believe that might be tartar sauce because I do see the components of tartar sauce somewhere on the butt. I see some dill, some pickle, we see. Got your standard fish fillet, which looks a lot like the fish fillet from Arby's, same shape. Again, this is Alaskan Pollock, 
shredded lettuce, as you can see there, and I poke around no tomatoes, no cheese, and it looks like mayonnaise. It doesn't look like tartar sauce, which is the tartar sauce which is on top. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of big, but... And I know before, I said, oh, the tomatoes didn't really add anything. The cheese doesn't add anything. But right now, I feel like this is missing stuff. And it's probably missing, but the je ne sais quoi is from the tomato and the cheese. Uh, the fish itself tastes good. It, I can see that it's like flaky, which is nice. You know, it's a, I appreciate that. It's really hot. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't touch that because it's really hot. It tastes like a good fish. The application of mayonnaise and tartar sauce is not as heavy handed as in other establishments thus far. So it's just a, kind of like an idea of tartar sauce, just kind of like waved over it. There's definitely more mayonnaise, but it doesn't feel overwhelming in the slightest, which is good. Um, I like the bun. The bun is nice and soft. It's not a hard bun. Hmm. Okay. I thought, ooh, beer batter fish sandwich. I thought it was going to be a bit big, larger in size, and it's not. The filet looks kind of like a lot like the filet at Arby's. I'm just saying. We're at McDonald's now. And because it's Friday, it's $2 on Fridays during Lent. So maybe that's why the line is so long right now. Hello, welcome. What can I get for you? Hi, can I get the filet of fish sandwich, please? Just the sandwich, it. That's it, please. Okay, two eighteen at the next one, though. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Yes, please. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Sanitize my hands. McDonald's round one, two, three, four on my fish sandwich taste test. Box it here. Unbag it. Box it. Ah, there we are. Hello. Da, da, da. Okay. Just like how I ever picture it. Soft, pillowy soft bun. That is just like a cloud. A <laughs> cloud of a bun. You can see this small square fish fillet. Uh, a generous self serving of tartar sauce. I can definitely tell it's tartar sauce. I'll take this out of the box. And up here, as you can see the curious like half slice of American cheese that's like and curious oh there we go that's a really hot howdy or filet filet mm. it's surprisingly hot which is good that means that they're frying them fresh probably a lot of turnaround because of today being Friday that show it to you. flaky it doesn't look like it's been pressed or like doesn't feel like it's like compressed meat or anything like that you can definitely see the flakes of fish here and see yeah, the box it says anything specific about it okay the box does say that this is alaskan pollock also it says you're on the lip so that's good I am enjoying this very much. Very, very much. Deep nostalgic joy. And <laughs> I've been driving from location to location, eating sandwich after sandwich, and I haven't had any water yet. Not advisable. Not advisable, good people. Stay hydrated, everybody. All right, I'm at my next location. We're going to Wendy's for there. I believe it's a panko fish sandwich, a crispy panko fish sandwich. Thank you. Yeah, and I have a fish cheese sandwich, $4.49. No Friday special. I think McDonald's is the only place that has an offer special. Oh, okay, here it is. It is much smaller than I thought it would be. It's kind of small, like it's like, fits in the palm of my hand. The other sandwiches are like maybe because it's the packaging, it's rather small, but it says here, you know, wild caught Alaskan fish. That's good. 
Okay. There we go. It's the sandwich thus far. Okay, this is honestly, it's the first time I've encountered actual pickles in a sandwich. And I've had plenty today, right? I can just see, without even doing anything much, I can see slices of pickle here. None of the sandwiches I've had thus far have had pickles. So that has it kind of has it stand out a bit. Okay, there are three pickle slices, two here, one stuck here to the patty. Very small, sad leaf of lettuce. <laughs> lettuce leaf. Um, looks like there's a slice of American cheese too. No tomato. Anything underneath? Nothing underneath. Okay, so no. Okay, okay, that's tartar sauce. Okay, that's a little bit of tartar sauce, pickles, and lettuce. No tomato. Oh, and cheese too. The fish fillet is freshly fried. It's very hot. <laughs> the bun is just like air, it's just collapsing. I know that there are pickles in this, but I can't really taste them. I will say that you can see that the, the fish is rather flaky. You can see it there, it's rather flaky. Now, I don't know if it's because of the panko or because of a good freshly fried patty or filet with the breading. It's the crunchiest of the fish fillets. The crunchiest. All the other ones I've had thus far didn't have this type of crunch. Could it be the panko coating that's giving it a higher crunch factor than the others I've heard? It's highly possible. I am now in the drive through lane of Burger King. Where I understand they have a big fish sandwich. I'd like to clarify that in regards to my Simpsons Arby's comment earlier, I know it's the twins that say we're so hungry we could eat at Arby's. I was just paraphrasing it since I'm by myself. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Now we're parked in the Burger King parking lot. About to try the Burger King Big Fish Sandwich. Now this is a year-round sandwich, not just a seasonal item. So in this cost $4.18, like I said, $4.19 and $4.58 total with tax. So first, before I do any sandwich eating, just clean the hands off again. There you go the fish sandwich. It's kind of small. It, it's, it's taller, but it's not wide. It's a taller sandwich, but it's not wide. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oops. See shredded lettuce. And let's see there. I see, just by on side, I see a square fish fillet, pickles, and lettuce. And the bun is very soft. It's, I will say all the buns so far, nothing has felt stale or anything. Like this is very soft, not as pillowy soft as some other ones, but it's soft. Underneath, we've got some mayonnaise, lettuce, and pickles. No tomato, no cheese, as far as I can see. Again, mayonnaise, lettuce, and pickles. Two pickle slices. A square fish fillet patty. Okay, okay, there's a dash, we'll go swipe of tartar sauce in the bottom filet. This is a bit. No cheese, no tomato. Okay, on second thought, this is, this bun's a little bit more firm, like it's a little older. It just, it feels a little older. It's rather disappointing. Hmm. Well, first of all, for a big fish sandwich, it's not very big. And I don't know if you can see this here, but see, this is filet, and then there's just this big opening, like a gap where you can look inside and see the breading, and it just like it's like an empty, hollow shape. It's about 
like an inch, half inch wide of just like open space between the breading and the fillet. So I don't know what to make of that. I've never seen that in the light before. It's like, it's literally hollow, like along this side of the patty or the fillet. It's just the breading stayed in shape, but the, there's literally no fish. Um, you can see right there, right? That's odd. Hmm. Final stop, Popeyes. This Popeyes doesn't have a drive-through, so I'm going to walk in, get the bag, get the sandwich, get two sandwiches, one for me, one for Derek, come back to the car, and try my final bite. Let's go. I have here two fish sandwiches from Popeyes. Two because I'm bringing one back to Derek. Popeyes fish sandwich. I'm gonna try this in the car, fresh. But first, sanitizer. I'm excited about this because I really like the Popeyes chicken sandwich of yore. And again, I know this is not the exact same thing, but it's from the same place. So hopefully the care that went into preparing, developing that sandwich is in this as well. Ooh, this is the lar by far right now, the largest of the sandwiches I've eaten today. Definitely. It's definitely the largest of the sandwiches. Just upon first sight, I see some mayonnaise and pickles and fish fillet and a bun, nice soft pliant bun. Upon first sight, again, I don't see cheese, I don't see tomatoes, I don't see lettuce, but we let's take it out and see. So let's go. I definitely want to confirm that this is the largest of the fish sandwiches I've eaten today. It's diameter wise, it's huge. I'm pretty impressed by that, I will say that. This is a fairly thick looking filet, right? And underneath what we have here, looks like a little swipe of tartar sauce, square fish filet against the Cajun flounder. And underneath we see some pickles and that looks like some more tartar sauce as well. Not mayonnaise, but it's a little bit of tartar on both sides of the filet. Let's give this a try. Popeye's Cajun flounder sandwich. sturdy size of fish fillet. The seasoning, that Cajun seasoning is really forward. It's very Cajun seasoning forward. It feels like it would be the same thing like on a sandwich, on one of the sandwiches. It's really good. This is quite tasty. I like this a lot. Um, it's a it's a big fillet or patty fillet, you know, you know what I mean. Um, again, no lettuce or tomato, no cheese, just the Cajun seasoning and the breading which is very apparent. And then you have some pickles here. I don't even think I've even reached the pickles yet. Might be with my bite. Let me try one more. Hmm. Okay, let's take a better look. It looks like it's mo more breading. The breading's thicker than I thought, and the filet is the fish is thinner than I thought it would be. Maybe that's why it tastes so Cajun forward because there's a lot more breading. Probably why. Um, this is very good. This is a very good fish filet sandwich. I do think it feels like the same like Cajun flavoring is on the outside. I'm using the breading of their other sandwiches as well. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Final wrap up. All right, friends. I've eaten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sandwiches today. I've tried eight different fish sandwiches, two from the same place. Seven locations, eight restaurants, eight, eight sandwiches. It's a lot of sandwich, sandwich eating, <laughs> a lot of fish sandwich eating today. And I don't want to give things number ratings like that. I could just rank them in terms of what I like the most. Or I can probably start with what I like the least. And I can, what I like the least was 
the Arby's sandwiches, and I tried both of their sandwiches. I had heard really good things about it, and I was disappointed because the, at least the sandwiches I had were heavily mayoed, heavily mayoed to the point where I couldn't even really taste anything but mayo. But that was very satisfying. So both of the sandwiches are at the bottom, followed closely by Jack in the Box because I didn't care for that metallic taste that I had. Even though the filet was very fresh, like freshly fried, I appreciated that. It was, it, it, it had a very strange aftertaste that I have not encountered in any of the other sandwiches. And that's not a great thing. You don't want a metallic taste. So I'm not sure where it's from the oil or the fish, but there's that. It seems so it's army swells. Those will note again, the bottom. I'm working from like the bottom up, <laughs> I guess you could say. The big fish sandwich, which is what I just had at Burger King, it was lacking because it wasn't nearly as big as I thought a big fish sandwich would be. Plus there was a giant hole where there should have been more fish. Wasn't a big fan of that. Okay, so it's the windy sandwich. Also, um, mediocre. It wasn't really anything too exciting. I wasn't too wowed by the Wendy's sandwich. It's in this pile of food here, I have here somewhere. It wasn't very impressive. And again, it was hot, but it didn't leave me wanting anything else. Carl's Jr. sandwich, which was the beer battered sandwich. I didn't get anything beer battered or like a nice thick crunchy coating. Like, Beer, anything that denoted beer batter in the coating of the fish fillet, so that's a bit lacking as well. I've got to say that my top two are the Popeye sandwich, what I just had, and the McDonald's fillet of fish. I know that sounds crazy, and I said I wouldn't be biased, but I will say that the pound for pound, the they're almost tied. They're tied again. I know it. Um, the filet -o fish is so simple with just, there's no tomato, no lettuce. It doesn't need that. And that's why I like it. I think that these other sandwiches that have these other condiments, it got in the way and they got made it everything too slippery and messy. And again, too much mayo on some of these sandwiches was just not pleasing. The Popeye sandwich though, this Cajun flounder one is pretty good. I say you go get that for sure. Again, the filet -o fish sandwich is available year round so you can get that whenever you want. I get it at least once a year you got to but go out and get this fish sandwich this Popeye's one it is pretty tasty you won't be disappointed then treat yourself to a filet fish later in the year I hope you enjoyed my travels around trying all the fish sandwiches today thank you very much for watching and I appreciate all the positive comments and thoughts thank you so much see you guys soon bye it's a, it's a madhouse in here it's a madhouse of fish sandwiches and I'd like to make an addendum I will say that the windy sandwiches, they have that crispy, crunchy topping, the exterior, which I liked very much. Okay, that's my addendum.